Hey, what is going on, guys? Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that my Patreon is linked down in the description below for those who wish to support me. And those who wish to support me also get free coding files each month in the Discord server, which is also linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the video. Hey, what is going on, guys and girls? My name is Fusion Terror here, and we're back again today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going to show you guys how to make a vote command in Discord JSV12 for your Discord bot. I'm a little late recording this video, so we're going to kind of go through it. I provided a file in the description below. I'll get into that in a minute. That's just going to be the pre built thing that I made prior. It's going to easily explain it because I think this could be a little bit more advanced for some people who are newer to Discord.js. So, without any further ado, let's hop into the video. We're gonna start off by going to our spirit bot folder here and then cmd.bat file. We're gonna cd into the spirit dash bot folder here, whatever your bot's name is in this folder. And then we're gonna do slappy. You guys are gonna do slappy gen command. Now I've already generated the vote command, but you guys are gonna hit enter and then you guys are gonna type vote. And then you guys are gonna to wanna to put it in whatever category you want. I put mine in the information category, so you guys just wanna put information and then hit enter. I've already made the command. Uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. I'm just going to do control C and stop this here. Uh, clear this as well. So once that command is already generated for you guys, you guys can then do code space dot to open this up in Visual Studio Code. Now when you guys open up Visual Studio Code, you guys want to go to your source folder and then your commands and then your information and you guys want to go to your vote command here. I already have it open. Now in the description below, I'm going to provide this part here. Now basically we're going to go over this part real quick because this is not all of the commands. So don't just copy and paste this hoping the vote command is going to work for you. There's a lot more to it than this. So for the vote command, we're going to have to take in some information from the user. So we have to be awaiting messages. We're going to be using the await message method under the text channel. Basically what the bot's going to do is the bot is going to start by making a variable and it's going to await the messages in the channel that it's used in it's going to wait for one message and it's only going to wait for 15 seconds so if a user doesn't provide a message back after typing dash vote then within 15 seconds if they don't provide a message back it's just going to return and it will end the command if they do provide something it's basically the console log it here um, but we're going to change this up a bit so that we can put it into an embed the filter up here goes into the await message method because this is basically how it accepts messages. So as long as the message.author ID is equal to the message that's sent in the first place, author ID, so being the same person who ran the command, uh, then it will continue to accept only their messages. So if you guys want to change this up where message.author ID was equal to a specific person, then the command would only listen to a specific person. So we're going to start off by taking a few information here. So we're actually going to copy uh, from message.channel.send to the bottom of this try and catch bracket. We're going to copy this because we're going to be taking a few things. The first thing we're taking is the topic of the vote. Then we're going to be taking in the first point that they want to state to vote on and then the second point they want to vote on. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the things up here where it says send message. We're going to change this to um, what is the vote topic. Now this could be something you input like which video game is better for instance and it'll wait for a user to send that message then we're gonna do is we're gonna send a new message down here saying uh, what is the first point to vote on now this could be is valorant better than csgo or so the first point would be is valorant better and then down here what we do is we could copy this um so the first point to vote and this would be the second point to vote when I ask them, they can say, is CSGO better? Like the user could respond with that. So we'll change this here to second point to vote. And then what we can do now is change a few things. So what it's going to do is it's just going to log the message to the console. Once the user sends the message, what we want to do is we want to put that into an embed. So we're going to go const embed equals new discord dot message uh, embed. And we're actually have to make this a let variable just because we have to be changing it here within this. We're going to do uh, let instead of const right there and now we're just gonna keep this just like this for now Because we're gonna be adding it in here So the content or sorry the vote topic instead of console logging it what we would do is we would do something like um, embed dot add field or dot set title we should do and then we could put in message dot first and then open this up since it's collection and then we could do dot content and that would be semicolon there. Now this would set the title of the embed. We can get rid of this console log if you want. I'm going to keep it there just so it logs what we put just in case there's any errors. We can go ahead and take this embed dot set title line and we can bring it down here. Now we're going to change one thing instead of set title. We're going to change it to an add field uh, just because you can only have one title in an embed. So we'll do the first topic. So we'll open up a string here. Uh, the first uh, topic or first point first option to vote and we do something like that we could also we have to put in a little thing here because it takes in 
two sides so this would be the top of the field and this would be the bottom of the field we can go ahead and copy this once again and we can paste this below this line here and add a second option to vote and we can also pass in emojis right here if we want so over in the discord server here if you were to grab an emoji such as the red circle um i believe if you put a backslash in front of it and then you do red underscore circle it will return back with yeah this emoji this is what you guys want to get here and then we'll be getting the blue circle as well so we'll do uh, colon blue underscore circle and we'll put the colon again hit enter and we're going to be copying these two emojis so i'm going to be putting the red one in here i'm just going to add some brackets just to show that this is for the first one and i'll get to this in a minute because the bot's going to actually react to this message with these emojis so we'll go down here add some brackets as well the space there as well we're gonna go ahead and paste that in there as well and we actually shouldn't be uh, down a line here i don't know what happened there anyways once you have the emojis pasted in here now that it's collected all of that before this video continues i want to let you guys know that 87 percent of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel and it would mean a lot to you if you guys could just take two seconds out of your time to drop a like on this video and hit subscribe with post notifications on so you guys never miss an upload in this series thank you so much and enjoy the video we can change in here saying uh, message dot channel dot send we can say you ran ran out of time and then we can say re dash run command we can copy this message dot channel dot send we'll end this with a semicolon first because basically every time it's going to error it's usually just because you ran out of time meaning the 15 second duration is over so we're just going to message the channel letting the users know that their duration is up and that they rerun the command so we can enter these lines down here and then i think we're pretty much done besides setting the embed to the channel so we can actually just do uh up here we'll make our embed look a bit nicer as well and we'll change a few things like dot um we need dot set footer and then we can say embed or vote made by and make sure this is in the back text here so you can do dollar sign open up these brackets message dot author dot tag and then we can end that with a semicolon right here and then we can do message dot channel dot send and then embed and then we can do dot then and then send to message and then put this into an arrow function here like this and then send message dot react open this up here and you're gonna put in whoops not that you guys are gonna put in the emoji here you guys want to react with we're doing the red one and then we're gonna do another dot then and then we're gonna open this up and go reaction and then make this into an arrow function go reaction reaction dot message and then we can do dot react to now react to it with the blue circle which is right here we can copy this send this to the channel by ending that with a semicolon we can go up to file save all go terminal open a new terminal we can do this by doing npm run dev hit enter here this should start our bot here with nodemon over in the discord server here we're gonna do dash vote to run the command what is the vote topic which game is better whoops is better what is the first point minecraft um i don't know csgo for instance and then it's gonna send it to the channel the first option and then the second option csgo and it also says vote was made by fusion terror hashtag and then it also reacts here so users can go ahead and react on which one is better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a vote command for your Discord bot in Discord gsv 12 If you did, slap a like is much appreciated. Hit subscribe with post notifications so you guys never miss an upload in the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.